friends, this is Jazz and surprise! Yes, another bargain haul so shortly after the other one. I held it in so long, uh, I held it in so well during that video that I actually had enough stuff for a second bargain haul. This stuff I did get with those other stuff from bargain haul 13, but I said, you know what, I have way more than enough stuff here. Might as well break it into two bargain hauls. That way, I'll feel more satisfied for a while, right? For I won't be going and buying a whole bunch of stuff that way anytime soon. So this is bargain haul number 14. I can end it on these on an even number. Again, sometimes, again, I really do have, I mean, I was told anyway that I really do have obsessive compulsive disorder. So guys, don't sue me for saying my OCD traits because in a sense it is. I Certain things have to be at its, in, on an even number, right? It just can't be, oh, six, it can't, or no, it's seven, no, it can't be seven, can't be nine, it has to be even, right? That way, so, in this haul, I got seven things. Yes, I still had more than my quota of six things, so, the other one had eight, I think I had all together, like when I was splitting them apart, I had like I had like six. I was able to have six and six, but then I had like three things left. So I really decided what do I want first? Like what do I want more? But I thought to have the first one with the more items because that way, well, the second one is can be okay with having less because this is the second one in a row. Now this will be all out shortly after my birthday, maybe a day or two after. That way you guys get a bit of a break from it so the first thing i got is the outsiders from sa hinton who remembers this book in middle school well or late elementary it, it, it it's it's one of those stories that talk about like different sides of society and how each side is treated and it is it is really sad like it, it, it it's heartbreaking to read and it, it is like actually less than 200 pages so it's a decent book for me to read maybe in between books so i am looking forward to reading this again after so many years with an older mindset maybe i'll be under be able to understand it more now guys i got two things right here that I'm going to show eventually off together and I was debating whether I, to add them to the last video or this video but I decided you know just to break them up a little bit first thing is the Chronicles of Narnia the Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe movie yes I actually got the movie to the series you know the series I know I watched the movies I, I had watched at least the Lion the Witch in the wardrobe right I, like I know I had read that and I didn't even know that it was actually part of a series in a way I just thought oh it's a cool movie to line witch in the wardrobe like I had no idea what it, what it even was back then and I got the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian now I have never ever watched this movie. I have also never ever read the book series, so I thought I had this for each of the Dawn Trader, but I could not find it again after I accidentally picked up an extra copy of the Line of Witch in the Wardrobe. So that's a sin, but it's it's what it is. I'm okay with getting that the first two movies. I guess there was a third movies in the series. But, I mean, I am glad that I have these along with the actual books in a small little collection, I guess. I Like, sometimes I like getting thing, other things of series. Like, I got the movie for the last time of the Limity Snicket. Like, if I'm enjoying a series, I like to kind of represent. Although, I never started reading the Chronicles of Narnia yet. But, I really love the series of Unfortunate Events, so... Maybe I'll like the Chronicles of Narnia, even though that's more based in fantasy, right, than actual, you know. I mean, of course, the series of Unfortunate Event is fantasy, but I meant it's more realistic, in a way. It has more realistic, how do I put it, like, the things are more likely to happen 
in real life in that book than it is in the Chronicles of Narnia. We'll just put it that way. I got something new. Baby Blues Cots. And it is Baby Blues 27 scrapbook, but it must mean, like, I checked and it was a comic, so. So it's just like a little collection book comic series. And I guess it's number 27. And ah, the same thing that did for better or for worse, Andrew McNeil Publishing. But I, I, I heard Bert Baby Blues is a really good series, so I wanted to try it out. I got Baby Blue 33 Gross. Yeah, gross. It's hard to see. Ooh, yuck up there. <laughs> I love it. I just, I just love it. Like, they don't like all this gross stuff. Like, yeah. As I said, I, I heard it, Baby Blue is really good, and this should entertain me for a little while. So, oh yeah, I have to show you the other. And, on this topic of Baby Blues, I have Baby Blues framed. Baby Blues toy treasury. So it's it's a treasury in a way. But it, it, I just thought, well, free books for me to to start with. But I don't I doubt it does. Now it doesn't have the magnet frame inside, but oh well. Figured it wouldn't. Anyway, but as it, it's cool. This is actually a treasury. So even more than a collection book. So I have all this to read for the, what is it, for the Baby Blues. Now guys, what is a bargain haul without Calvin and Hobbes? Well, technically last video didn't have Calvin and Hobbes, so that's why I added it to this one. Calvin and Hobbes, Homicidal Psycho Jungle Cats. This has to be what my fifth Calvin and Hobbes book, but this one is a little bit damaged, but you know what? Everything else is is good. But anyway, guys, this episode was pretty much the episode, or the Hall of Comics. Because that's mostly what it was, except for, what is it, two books and two DVDs right there. I was trying to balance each of those videos as much as I could balance them, but you can only do so much. But I'm excited to have all this stuff in my collection. Like, like comics galore. I mean, I got those four plus the for better or for worse ones. One, so I had six comics bought between the two bargain hauls. And a few books three DVDs, I think, except for the video games, I got everything there that I could want. Hey guys, there was something that I actually forgot to add to my bargain haul. I got you good, didn't I? Actually, I seriously, though, did get this mask at Value Village. Now, this was one of the more expensive single things. It was like $10. 990 something and it is a alter ego mask I'll be doing there's gonna be a dance at my workplace and I figured this would be a clever little thing to wear sometimes it's harder to breathe in the mask and it's harder I guess I could wear my glasses but it wouldn't look as effective right which is why I took off my glasses for that shot there but it's a creepy thing isn't it like it is it i find it cool i might even use it and might have it in my room i get i just think that is so cool 
right? Like, it's so creepy. I don't know why I want that thing staring at me every night, but it's it's something I'm going to use more than just a one-off thing. Like, it, it, like it's, it's, it'd be funny. Also, that I, I'm so, and also, guys, I'm sorry for you guys who, how do I put it, is, are easily startled, which is why I didn't scream in that clip. I figured at least I could do is just do the jump scare music, like, do it as basic as I can, like, I know, like, I know how it feels to be suddenly to watch something and, mix un and unexpectedly get a jump scare, but technically this time it's warranted because this is what I was showing off, but I figured I would still be sensitive to those who are not good with noise, jump scares, and just do the minimum, but the sh shocking at the same time, but I, like, I, I, I just love this thing. I mean, and you can take it all, you can pull it up, and it, 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 it's easy enough, right? I'm not gonna go overdo it. I might wear a black coat or something, although that might be a little, go a little too far, the thinking I'm dangerous or something. But this is a demented-looking mask, isn't it? I just figured I would show my, my personality, like, not really caring much about, you know, like, not, how do I put it? I'm kind of morbid in a way, too. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this extra bargain haul, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.